cow cat. Where were you the day the greatest Daytona 500 ever run was won by Austin Dillon? Oh, I was drowning my sorrows as the final nail was hammered into the proverbial coffin that is stock car racing. Cow cat, don't tell me you're one of those mamby pambies with two long hair talking about how Austin Dillon wrecked Eric Almirola for the win. Dale Sr. used to do the same thing. He wrecked Terry Labonte at Bristol. That's exactly the same situation. I'm so happy the three cars back in victory lane. The number matters so much to the performance of the car in NASCAR. Daryl Waltrip told me so. Yes, because Dale Sr. intentionally wrecking someone 22 years ago at a short track is a totally fair comparison and in no way is a stretch of the imagination to Austin Dillon spinning and wrecking Eric Almirola at 200 miles an hour at Daytona. Bandwagon kid, your bandwagoning is the worst it has ever been. We need an intervention. Shut up, cow cat! Don't bring IndyCar into this! Wait, what? IndyCar? I, I, I didn't mention anything about IndyCar. B Bandwagon Kid, did, did you take too much Adderall this morning? Shut up, cow cat! You and your IndyCar fans need to get off their high horse! NASCAR was built on finishes like this, just like the 1979 Daytona 500 where Kale and Donnie got into it and they wrecked, and it was awesome, and it built the sport of NASCAR! Yeah, sure, Bandwagon Kid. NASCAR was built on hard racing. But if you take a look at the 1979 Daytona 500 finish, you'll see a very similar start to the situation, but a different finish. Pay close attention to the fact that both Donnie Allison and Eric Almirola block, but look at the differences between Cale Yarborough and Austin Dillon's handling of that block. One driver clearly runs the other one over, while the other one does everything in his power to avoid the wreck until it inevitably ends in both cars colliding. Shut up, Cowcat! You're really pissing me off! You just want to see the restrictor plates taken off these cars and they can go 230 miles an hour into the catch fence! Uh, you might want to ask your new intimidator about the factual inaccuracies of that last statement. You know what, Cowcat? Reckon is racing to me, and I don't care what you say. I want to see the biggest wrecks and guys get wrecked for wins. You know what, Bandwagon Kid? You're right. Every weekend, NASCAR should aim to crash as many cars as possible each weekend, draining the teams and sponsors of as much money as humanly possible to appease a smaller and smaller portion of their dwindling fan base who likes to see torn up race cars and intentional wrecks every week. You've really fixed it, Brian France. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh wait, what's this? The TV rating? Oh no!